Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So here's my long overdue get ready with me birthday edition. So first thing I do is I use my translucent powder to soak up all the oil on my eyelid. And then here I'm going ahead and applying my eyeshadow base, smoothing that all over the eyelid. After I have applied that, I'm going to go ahead and set it with my eyeshadow. Use a vanilla eyeshadow to set that. You know, with any creams, liquids, you want to set them in place so that they last all day to decrease, cut down on creasing. I'm going in with my transition color here, which is called Heat Wave. It's a beautiful yellow gold color. Okay, now that we have our transition color laid down, we're going to go in with our crease color. And here I'm using Temperature Rising. And we're just going to use the same windshield wiper motion to apply that into our crease area. Now that we have that done, we're going to go into the inner parts of our eyelid using an emerald green color. And just come in just a little, not, not halfway, but a little bit in and then... <laughs> go to the outer part of your eyelid and apply that same color. So we're basically creating the halo effect um, eyeshadow here for this step. Now we're going to go in with a second crease color and that's with this royal blue color here. And we're just going to use that to blend in that emerald green eyeshadow. Just like another transition color, I guess you could say, for the eyelid colors. And just use a windshield, my, wipe, windshield <laughs> wiper motion to blend that into the crease. Okay, next we're going to add some depth to our eyeshadow look. So we're going to add some black to that same outer area of our eyelid and also into the inner corners. Just make sure you blend that black in with the emerald color or with the, or which, whatever color you're using for the eyelid shade. Next up, we have my favorite eyeshadow, which is Rapture. It's a very pretty rose gold metallic eyeshadow. We're just going to pat that into the open space eyelid, and that will complete our halo eyeshadow effect. Next, we're going to move on to the face, and I'm applying my face primer, which is the Complexion Perfection Primer. We're going to smooth that all over the skin, and we're going to follow that up with adding our color correction concealer to our face to cover any... Um, hyperpigmentation you may have on your skin or any dark dark spot dark spot areas you may have on your skin we're just going to apply that and make sure you blend that into your face with a brush and also a beauty blender just to make sure you have you set yourself up for a flawless finish with your foundation once you add it Okay, and once you have your uh, color corrector blended onto your face, I like to go ahead and set it with my setting spray. It also helps prep my skin um, for my foundation, especially since I have oily skin. Now, while that's setting into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and apply some gem sparkles. So you can use the gem sparkles or glitter, whichever you prefer. So I have two different colors here. Uh, one is The pink one is Morganite, and the silver one is uh, Zirconia. So I spray my, um, just a little brush with my setting spray, and then I'm going to dip that um, into both of the uh, gem sparkles and add those, pat those into my eyelid. If you want, if you don't want to use um, setting spray, you can also use eyeshadow glue to make sure they st it sticks all night. Next, since I have oily skin, I'm going to go ahead and apply some uh, translucent powder to my oily areas. Um, I do apply it under my eyelids because unfortunately they are oily under there. So to prevent any creasing of the foundation and my under eye concealer, I use this step and it works wonders. Um, so if you have oily skin, you should definitely, definitely, definitely try this method. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. Uh, you can see I was using a mixing stick because that night I had mixed up a, a fresh batch of my custom blend foundation. So I was like, eh, I'll just use a little bit left in my beaker and go ahead and apply that to my face. Once uh, you apply your foundation, you can go ahead with your under eye concealer. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I am going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Definitely use a damp sponge or beauty blender because that will help really set that concealer underneath your eye to prevent any creasing later on in your day and then the next step to also help uh, set that concealer that liquid concealer or cream concealer so it doesn't move I'm applying some translucent powder I like to apply a first a thin layer and then after that and kind of press that into the skin and then after that I will apply a heavier layer that we're going to brush off later for the baking method 
And uh, because it's my birthday that night, I wanted to be extra. So I went ahead and did a little slight car contouring. I did not use a cream first. I just went in with the three-in-one um, contour and highlight kit just to do a slight contour here. And then once I apply it, I went ahead and blended that out just to make sure it's flawless. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my blush. And here I'm using Audacious. And we're just going to put that onto the apples of our cheeks. Okay, now that we have dusted on some finishing powder, I'm applying my favorite lip treatment, which is 40FY. I love this stuff. Oh, and here's my highlighter. It broke. <laughs> so I can't even travel with it. I need to find a container for it. Um, but this is Starshine, and I'm just going to use this as my highlighter. So I'm going to add some to the tops of my cheekbones, and then I'm also going to add some to my nose and onto my cupid's bow and the top part of my lip. Okay, and now I'm going to add some of that emerald eyeshadow to my lower lid. Um, you can also prep that with the eyeshadow base to make sure it lasts all throughout the night. Okay, so after applying a little bit of gel liner to the bottom uh, lash line, I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara, which is the Fiber Lash Mascara, which I am currently running out of. I love this stuff, and of course, it's sold out until May, so yeah. So it really brings out my lashes, um, and I don't use them on my top lashes. I just use my falsies, and I applied that off camera as well as doing my um, eyebrows off camera. And then for my last and final step, I'm applying some eye line... <laughs> Sorry, some lash glue to the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm going to apply um, those gem sparkles that we used earlier to apply to our eyelids because um, I can. And it was my birthday. And like I said, I was want, I wanted to be extra and just be thankful for bringing in another birthday. So, yeah, I went all out because that's just me. <laughs> and you should, too. You know, if you have a special night, just go all out. Have fun. Um, add some sparkles. Add some glitter. Just, just really enjoy your night and really... Enjoy the fact that you were able to um, celebrate a birthday or any other special occasion. So I um, completed my look offline with my hair and my lips because, of course, I was running late. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye. Bye.